Okay, so we are discussing Shastakam 8, verse 8. And what is that verse? Ashli Shava Padratam Vinashtumam Adarshanam Varnatam Parotuva Tatha Tatha Bhagata Dhatulam Parumat Parana Pastu Sayvana Parana. In other words, Lord Chaitanya is praying to Krishna. Do my Lord, dear Lord, you might, you might accept me or you might not accept me. Doesn't matter. Still, I'll keep on serving you. Birth after birth after birth. And that's my only desire. In some few words, the meaning of this verse is this. In plain and simple words. But let's discuss this verse in details. Because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he, whatever he said, every word is important to us. And Prabhupada has given many, Prabhupada has not given commentary on this. But Prabhupada has spoken on this verse in many of his lectures. In Chaitanya Charitamrita, he has given explanation to this verse. And this, if you ask what is our philosophy of Lord Chaitanya, of Gaudiya Vaishnavism, of his con, this is the philosophy in one verse. If anybody asks you, okay, what are you learning? What's it all about? Tell me. In summation, we can quote this verse. This is what we are learning here. We are trying to achieve this platform. And it's not for others also, it's for ourselves, whether we are here or not. That's more important. Rather than judging others, it's more important whether we are here. Or how far we are, we are from this platform, that's another question. <laughs> and what should we do to get to this platform? To this verse, to the realization of this verse. So the first verse word is Ashlishya. Of this verse, Ashlishya. Ashlishya means hope. Asha. Asha means what? Hope. Hope. So that's what is what's the mood of a devotee, Mahaprabhu explaining. Devotee has a hope. We live with a, everybody lives with a hope, isn't it? Everybody lives with a hope. A hope, some people hope for money, some people for a career, some people for blah blah blah, so many things. Some people uh, have hopes for knowledge, scientists, philosophers. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll become the most famous scientist, is it? Or I'll crack theory of everything, whatever, for example. But what a devotee's hope is? Devotee's hope is Krishna, when Ashlishya means when will you embrace me? Prabhupada translates that. Embrace, Prabhupada gives. Prabhupada translates embrace with great pleasure. Ashlishya. So when will you embrace me with great pleasure? So that, that happened in Ramayan, Balmiki Ramayan. That Hanuman, he, he, he brought the Sanjeevni Bhuti. Everybody knows that, no? Big mountain. And then Ram told uh, Hanuman, I don't have anything to give you back. I'm not a king. I'm a hermit. So what should I give you? So he gave his embrace to Hanuman. He told you, come Hanuman, I'll give you my embrace. That's what we're looking for. That's our perfection of life. Now somebody can argue, you know, well, we are dollars. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> but What's embrace all about? But that's love, no? Is it? That's uh, people who love God, they can understand the meaning of this statement. People who don't love God, they'll say, well, that's okay, but you don't get anything. That's a simple embrace. But that's 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 pretty much all about like a uh, uh, a boyfriend will say to girlfriend, or a husband will say to wife, or wife to husband. Yeah, if you embrace, you're satisfied. No, that's what you want. That's all. Okay, you love me. I love you. Okay, that's. I'm happy in life. I don't want anything else, is it? All movies are made at this point. At <laughs> this, this point. In the end, they ever lived happily together. What's that? <laughs> happily ever. Happily ever. Happily. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> to so much fight, so many things. Happily ever. That's all. So that's what Krishna conscious. We, we are hope that we will live happily ever with Krishna. But now we are not living. We are here. In Houston, Krishna is there in Golok, and it's pretty far, no? 
So we are not with Krishna now. That's a brute fact. So what to do for this problem? So Mahaprabhu says, Ashlishya, okay. I have this hope. One day I have this hope. This will happen. Hope against hope. And even if it doesn't happen, I'll keep on serving him. Because if you keep on serving Krishna, one day Krishna will be he will feel obliged, no? He will feel obliged. Okay, fine. This person is serving me day after day, months after months, years after years, maybe lives after lives, without asking anything. Just this hope that I want to live with you, I want to serve you, with you in, in, your, in your words, spiritual word. Which person will not get obliged, isn't it? We were talking about Thanksgiving Day, so... That's Krishna said, thank you very much for serving me. What should I give you in return? It's like he said to Hanuman. So he can't he can't repay this love. Krishna himself says, I can't repay this love. This is like you cannot repay love. You can repay everything, no? How do you repay love? What do you do with that? So Krishna says, Okay, I can give one thing, I can give myself to you. That's what he said to Gopis, I can give myself to you. He sells himself. And devotee can control him. Prabhupada said in one of his lectures. Prabhupada said interesting in one of his lectures. These Mayavadis, they want to become one with God. Is it? Prabhupada says, devotees, they want to control God. Is it? <laughs> well, Nanda Baba is controlling, no? Krishna, Prabhupada gives an example. Krishna bring my slippers. Gopi is saying, sit. Krishna sits. Stand up, Krishna, stand up. Krishna dance, Krishna is dancing. Everybody is controlling. So that's Prabhupada says, so which is better? You want to become one with God or you want to control Him? <laughs> so, yes, that's better. Of course, we don't want to control Him. But we want to control Him in the sense, yes, Krishna, we want to control you. So Krishna says, okay, fine. So, so what do you want me to do? So Krishna, we want you to sit and we want to serve you. That's how we want to control Him. So that's, that's Vrindavan all about. That's our hope. That's a target. So how to achieve a target? That this is the process. What we are doing is it? Chanting, serving, devotees, all these things, whatever we are doing in this life for Krishna service, that's a target. If you don't achieve your target, then what happens? You prepare all the year round, an exam you fail. Is it good? Is it good? No. What about your preparation? Waste? In Krishna consciousness, it's not like waste. <laughs> but, in one sense, it is waste. <laughs> in one sense, it is not. Because you continue next life from the same point. But in another sense, well, you did so many things, but at the end of time, Prabhupada says in one of his letters, you might be very great devotee. You might be a great preacher. You might be great... Uh, you might make big temples, manage temples. That's not bad. But Prabhupada says, but, Everything will be tested at time of death. death. You can remember Krishna time of death. The life is successful. But to remember Krishna time of death, that's that's difficult. No? We can't even remember Krishna when you have fever. What about death? Death is a pretty big thing. You, know? you, you, you can't breathe. You stop breathing now and chant Hare Krishna. Can you do that? No, you will call Mama, Papa or something you will call you. You lose breath. So, it's, it's a difficult thing. Until you don't have love, you, it's impossible to do that. So, this is Ashlishya. We are hoping for the highest love. Because when we love Krishna, then He will give embrace to Hanuman, like Hanuman. No, Hanuman, if we can become 0.0001% like Hanuman, our life is perfect. Krishna says, okay, no problem. You can't become like Hanuman. I know it's impossible for you. For your generations, you can't do that. He can't become like Hanuman, we know. But even if he can, if he can do 0 0.001% like him, no problem. Krishna accepts. That's his causeless mercy. Come on, now serve him. So that's the first word, Ashlishya. What's the next verse? Word. Va. 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 Va means or. So I have some quote for that. No quote. Okay, Va means or. Or, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying, Okay, Krishna, even if you don't give me your embrace, or you give me embrace, you accept me. Embrace means you accept me. Is it? 
In other words, I am serving you with love. You accept me. Even if you don't accept me, still I will keep on serving you. That's the mood of a devotee. So, the point which Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is bringing is of independent and dependent. God is dependent. Uh So, God is independent and we are dependent. The point is, Bhagavatam says, second canto, uh, what's that? Kala Kala Karma Sabha, Kala Karma Jeev Subhavacha. I just, I always miss that verse. Yad Anugra Santi, Na Santi Yad Tadvat. That, that's, a, that's a very famous verse. Ah, okay. Dravyam Kalam Karmascha, Jeev Subhavayavacha. Yad Anugraha Santi, Na Santi Yad Tadvat. So, Bhagavatam says that everything is dependent on God. Dravyam means? Material. Yeah, yeah, earth, water, fire, air, ether, electrons, photons, neutrons, forces, gravity, electromagnetic, strong, weak, whatever you see, everything is dependent on God's will. If Krishna removes his mercy, nothing will move, everything will pause. It can't move because time is gone. Dravyam Kalam, time moves. Is it? If there is no time, nothing moves, everything stops. What is time? Science has no idea. No, nobody knows what's time. Science knows what science knows that time is there, but nobody knows what is time. Interestingly, is it? You, you heard about Newton? Everybody heard? So Newton said, you you might have made that graph, no? X and Y axis. So one one is uh, like okay, velocity or force, and another axis is T. Time. 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 If you ask Newton what is time, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. But he knows there is time. <laughs> That's one thing. <laughs> if you ask Newton what if you ask Newton what is gravity, I don't know. He doesn't know. But he knows that there is gravity. If you ask Einstein what is time, he doesn't know. Well, time is there. But what Einstein will tell you, I know one thing about time, the time expands and time contracts. Is it? Relativity? Dilation? Time dilation. If you ask quantum physicist, he has Heisenberg and also uh, all these people. What is time? We don't know. They also don't know what's time. But they can say something. Okay, but with time, um, there are some kind of probabilistic changes that must happen. Nobody knows what is time. You know why nobody knows what is time? Because nobody knows what is Krishna. <laughs> because Krishna is time. That's all. Nobody can understand time. So, uh, why why can't people understand what is taste of water? What is that? Because that is Krishna. Whatever is Krishna in scriptures, science cannot understand that. That we can give in writing to scientists. You can do your research for thousand years, next thousand years, but you will not be able to understand. They might say, well, you are foolish people. Science will advance and understand. No, my dear, you can't understand. These things you can't. Other things you can't. So that's the point there. So that's what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying. Krishna, you are independent. Matter is dependent on God. Time is God. Dravyam, Kalam, Karmas, our activities are dependent on God. Activities are dependent on God. Whatever we do, uh, we think, we desire, everything is dependent on will of God. If Krishna wants, He can stop everything. He can stop our actions. He can stop our capacity to desire. There is a difference between, he, he can stop our, he, he, he can take back our eyesight. There is a difference between seeing and eyesight, is it? Our eyes, our vision and our sight. So the eyes are we have, the capacity to see Krishna, the capacity to see this word is Krishna. Because many people are there, you see many people are there whose eyes are like proper and whose op- optic nerve is also proper. Optic nerve? Brain is proper, like, but they are blind from childhood, like congenital blindness. Mm. So what's missing? The capacity to see is not there. That is God. So that's why Dravyam, Kalam, Karmascha, all our activities are dependent on God because the capacity to do activities is given by God. 
So if he takes that, the paralysis. The capacity to think is given by God. If he takes back Parkinson's, you can't think. Slow motion. Even if you want, you can't. So, is it? Dravam Kalam Karmas Cha Kal Subhava Eva Cha Our nature is dependent on God. Who we are, that's dependent on God. We are we because of Krishna. You can't be you if Krishna's mercy is not there. Is it? A dog is a dog because of Krishna, no? Okay, here's a question. Does a dog know he's a dog? <laughs> what do you say? Probably no. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a big question in science. Actually, it's a very big question in science. It's called Quarius. It's a debate in consciousness studies. But no, a dog, I don't know whether a dog... But Prabhupada said, Prabhupada said one thing. Horse knows that it is the most beautiful animal. <laughs> horse knows that. <laughs> and that's, you see horses, you know, they're like, they go in a, some kind of arrogance. <laughs> I'm a horse. And uh, a peacock knows I'm the most beautiful, but my feet, they are, they are ugly, you know. Peacock's feet, they, they know that. That's why they weep when they see their feet. They weep. It's all said in scriptures. So animals have some insight into the existence. We are by insight. We know we are humans, is it? So, who is giving that insight? Krishna. See, you can't explain this scientifically. How will you explain this scientifically? So, our nature is dependent on God. Nature. According to previous activities, Krishna makes us like this. We are like this. Is it? So, that's what this verse is all about. Krishna, you are independent and I am dependent. My free will is also dependent on you. This is very important to understand. Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavatam, again and again this topic is repeating. Why this is important to understand? Why this is important to understand? Krishna is independent, we are dependent. In context to this verse. Why? So, we, we are discussing Shikshashti from 8th verse. Ashli Shiva, So, this is important because we are servants of Krishna. And we should always remember, if he doesn't accept us, he can't complain. Is it? He can ask for blessings, but if he doesn't give blessings, you can't complain. Krishna, why are you giving me? Why are you not giving me blessings? That's a wrong thing. So, uh, because he's independent, he can do anything he likes. Ashlisha va padratam. Is it? What's the next word? Padratam. So Chaitanya Prabhu says, "Fine, Krishna, you're independent." You might not accept me. You might... So what do you mean by Padratam? Pa padratam means you might crush me. You understand? Pad means feet. Ratam means... Crush. Crush. So I think I have a... I have a quotation here. From Srila Prabhupada. Ah, okay, yeah. So, now here, here's a point. Krishna... Krishna, even if you don't accept me as a servant, and even if you crush me, I will keep on serving you. You see, love, that's love, Padratam. Crush me means, uh, crush me means that even if you reject me, you reject me. Is there any person who will keep on serving somebody if he rejects him? No, 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 no. That's love. Can you close it? It's in this. So, so that's the point here. I think, yeah. Just leave it if you want to go. So, you, you understand? Which servant will keep on serving the master even if he rejects him? Nobody, no? Nobody. These relationships in this material world is like that. If you don't, if you don't, if you if you reject somebody, no, no, I want to accept you. He will say, fine. If you don't have to do anything with me, I'll, I'll do, I don't have to do anything with you. Finish, finish it off. This is a definition of love. Prabhupada defines love in nectar of devotion as what is love? Love is that state, that emotional bond, which cannot be broken, even if there are hundreds of obstacles. 
It cannot be broken. That is love. That's how you test love. Love cannot be tested if there is no obstacles. You understand? Mm -hmm. It okay. cannot be. You can say I love God. I love Krishna. And well, anybody can say like that. Yeah. But who loves Krishna? How do we know who loves Krishna? Pandavas, they love Krishna? Yes, yes. By, how do you know that? That's why you know, na? Prabhupada loved Krishna, how do you know that? How do you know? Because he also gone through so much obstacles. Yeah, that's how you know, isn't it? Yeah. Heart attacks, this, that, and uh, so many problems, temples, that's how you know. If, if, if Prabhupada would have gone to America and uh, clean sweep, you know, everybody <laughs> comes and pays obeisance and uh, movement started, okay, that's okay. He really can't appreciate somebody, you know. How, how do you know gopis love Krishna? Krishna left them, no? Still they remember. For hundred years? Hundred years, you can imagine. Anybody will break relationship. <laughs> <laughs> in, in Dharma Shastra, as it is said, uh, in Dharma Shastra, divorce is not allowed. It's not allowed. In scriptures, divorce is not allowed. It's not there. Actually, this term is not there, divorce. You can't divorce. But the point, but, the, but there are some, some scriptures where you can leave your wife. Oh, sorry. Wife can leave husband. Husband can also leave wife. So, wife can leave husband. If, if husband goes out of the house and if he doesn't return after five years, then it is assumed that uh, the relationship is broken and she can marry again. Otherwise, she is a widow. If, if everything goes properly, husband dies, then she is a widow. Then she can't really marry, or she enters fire. But in this special circumstance, if husband goes out, he's lost, he doesn't come back. Okay, fine. You know what do you do? Then in that special cases, they can remarry. So relationship breaks, you know. But this is hundred years. Krishna went for hundred years, separated. But yet relationship was not broken. That's how we know gopis love Krishna, is it? And how do we know Bharat, Shatrugan, they loved Ram. Hanuman loved Ram. No, so many obstacles, is it? So obstacles in life, they are our friends. That's what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying, Paad, Ratam. People fear obstacles, no? Is it? I've got so many problems, Krishna, please keep me out of problems. <laughs> that's what we pray. We, we pray like that. But that's a stupid prayer. Because if you don't have obstacles in life, you don't level up love for God. Is it? You don't have love. So wise people, they, when obstacles come in their life, they become happy. Oh, this is a good time to show Krishna that I love him. When fools, when, when fools, when people become disturbed, then they think, oh, Krishna, please help me, I am becoming disturbed. No? When devotees become disturbed, wise devotees, when they become disturbed, what they say to Krishna? Thank you, Krishna. I'm getting disturbed. <laughs> but this is the time. This is the opportunity where you can show you love. Is it? Without disturbance, anybody can do everything. You can chant 16 knots very nicely. No problem. But when you are disturbed in your mind and still you chant 16 knots, will Krishna not give credit to you? Is it? Oh, yeah, this is good. Still he is chanting. So that's a very good opportunity. And a shrewd businessman never loses. <laughs> so Prabhupada used to say Krishna consciousness is a business. Prabhupada you see his letters. Prabhupada used to say this a business. So this uh, when many parents used to meet Prabhupada. Like Prabhupada, so many devotees becoming full time, no? Brahmchari. So parents used to come, see why you have taken a son, you know, he has become Brahmchari and like that. So Prabhupada used to say, see you do your business, I am doing my business. <laughs> Don't defend my business. That's all. The Prabhupada used to say like that. that. That was good. So we are all business people. We are intelligent. Chaitanya Prabhu says, Yagya Sankirtana Praya Jantihi. We are very intelligent people. People think that we simply love Krishna. That we do. But at the same time, we are very shrewd. <laughs> we don't lose intelligence. So we are intelligent. We know that any time your mind is disturbed, this is the best, best moment to serve Krishna. So devotees do not become disturbed by disturbance. 
That's wisdom. That's wisdom. When you're not disturbed, then that is the moment to become disturbed. Is it? <laughs> there no, are no problems. <laughs> Everything is going on rightly, you know. So you don't have the opportunity to serve, to actually show Krishna that I love you. And all movies are like that, no? Which, which, which romantic movies without any obstacle, no? That girl is there, their parents are very rich, and that guy is very poor. <laughs> and then they are trying to stop that boy, and he's coming, and then he comes. I want to meet that girl and that father, you know, me. And then some glasses, and then he's walking on glasses. <laughs> something, something weird is going to happen there. And then, ah, this is a good love story, no? That's love, that's good love story. So that's all love all about. Uh, love demands obstacles. It demands. That is Padratam. So any time in your life obstacles come and it will come. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop. You can't say I'll be few obstacles. You can pray to Krishna thousand times, but still obstacles will come. You can pray Krishna, please, I don't want any disturbance. I don't want to have obstacles. Please help me, help me, help me, help me. But be careful. The more you pray, the more Krishna will give. Or you see Krishna is like that. <laughs> Krishna is, you can't understand Krishna. He is like very weird personality. <laughs> he is like that. He left gopis. He left Vishwadama who loved them. Ram, what he did? He fought for Sita. And so many, so many people died. And after he brought her, Okay. <laughs> then our Lakshman was like, he freaked out, you know, what's happening, Krishna? Ram, you know, what's, it's like nonsense. In Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's Leela, he left his wife, mother, when they were very young. At that time also people were, his devotees were afraid. Uh, like Manari Gupt. Manari Gupt, one of the associates of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he said, Mahaprabhu, you know, you know what? We are all psyched out. In Krishna Leela, you are doing funny things. In Ram Leela, you are doing funny things. In this Leela, we don't want <laughs> crazy things. It, it is this recorded. And Mahaprabhu said, Murari, I have just come to tell you that I am going to do something. <laughs> <laughs> and I am going to inform you. I am going to leave my house. And I knew you, you will question me this, and so I am informing you beforehand. So that's God. God, you can't understand actions of God. That's one of the qualities of Krishna, Gambhir. Gambhir, you understand Gambhir? Rupa, Rupa Goswami states in the devotion. Prabhupada writes, Gambhir means serious. Serious doesn't mean you don't laugh. Serious means whose actions and plans and thoughts cannot be judged. Anybody, you cannot know. Krishna will do with you those things which you don't absolutely like. He's going to do the very same thing with you. Do you understand? That's Krishna. You know why? He likes to torture? He's a torturing machine or what? <laughs> He's a tyrant? He likes us more. Hmm? He, like, he loves us more. So why he does like that? The thing which you dislike the most, he will do with that with you. Why? So that we? Go closer to him. How, 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 how will, you can also go far away. My God, Krishna. <laughs> I don't, the, the very thing I don't like and you do the same thing with me. Why is doing like this? Huh? Yeah. How? Probably Krishna thinks that that we purify us more. How? That's what, that's what I'm asking. It makes us steadfast. It makes us how? steadfast how? on the path. How? That's what happens again and again it becomes normal. <laughs> well, if you, you know what, if you don't like something, if, if you have a wound, and what I do, I just keep on poking your wound. <laughs> Say, you are mad or what? <laughs> That's what Krishna will do. And there is a reason for that. Why that Krishna answers in Chaitanya Charitamrita? Krishna says there is a reason. You know why? I do the same thing what you don't like, because I want to get you out of your likings and Disliking that attachments, I want to get you out of it. So, so that you realize your dislikings are causing the suffering. Is it? Mm -hmm. So you, you leave your dislikings. So he do. He he he's a he's a best leader, best teacher. He knows how to mold us, and we are the worst student. You don't want to be molded. That's a problem. That's why we are here. 
We don't want to be moved. It's like Prabhupada's prayer to Krishna. Krishna, I am a puppet. No? That prayer? In America he prayed. Krishna, I am a puppet. Uh, uh, What's that? Make me dance. As you like. As you like. Prabhupada said no. That's the best prayer. Because Prabhupada is giving himself to Krishna. Now, now you mold me. I am ready. I am ready Krishna. I am ready for everything. So that kind of readiness Krishna is seeing in us. That's what this word is. Path Ratam. Even if you don't accept me, that's okay. I am going to serve you, serve you, serve you. Again and again, again and again. It doesn't matter. Uh, and uh, Prabhupada says here in Nectar of Devotion, chapter 22, uh, uh, Prabhupada says that, you know, if Krishna doesn't accept you and still you serve him, Krishna will become more happy. Is it? Why? Because Prabhupada says, I am quoting you, Prabhupada says here, uh, this quotes chapter 22 natural devotion Prabhupada says Krishna becomes obliged to the loving spirit of the devotee see he is obliged to the spirit of a devotee oh I am not accepting him still, still he is after me so he is, he is obliged by that loving spirit and not exactly to the service render this point I was making in the morning no one can serve Krishna completely he is so complete and self sufficient that he has no need of any service from a devotee. If devotee's attitude of love and affection for Krishna, that makes him obliged. So that's what I was telling, no? That is why these problems in life, they are opportunity to express our spirit to God. Yes, my spirit is to serve you. And that's how Krishna tests us also. Okay, you are saying, I want to serve you. You are saying, life after life, I will serve you. Okay, so here's a test. So Krishna will not test you because he doesn't know you. He knows and he's sitting inside you. Inside out. Probably he knows more about you than you yourself. But he will give you a test to make you know where you stand. Is it? Mm-hmm. It's not he. He wants to know. Then we will know. My God, I was thinking about myself little. I was thinking I am a Yirtha Goswami. <laughs> But now I know I am like not even a neophyte after 20 years. It can happen. It can happen. You might be 30 years, 40 years in a moment, but you can be absolutely neophyte. It doesn't... It can happen like that. And it has happened. Years can't guarantee anything. Although years are important in devotion, people who have spent 40 years, that counts. But at the same time, it can't ensure that what's the what's advancement of a devotee. You can't tell. You have to tell by spirit. And that can only be judged by if a devotee can surpass all the obstacles. If he is not determined in all obstacles, he is is even more enthusiastic to serve Krishna when he is having obstacles in life, disturbance in life, than his ordinary life. He is is never depressed. That is why devotee is never depressed. Prabhupada says devotee is never depressed. People ask, people ask, you know, people ask many times, Prabhu, Prabhu, I am... Sometimes I get depressed. Is it? So, is it? Everybody gets depressed, no? Our enthusiasm comes down in devotion. Mm-hmm. So, what to do? So, I tell him, well, there is no cause of uh, depression because when you are happy, you are happy. But when you have problems, you are more happy. Because that is a time Krishna can accept you. So, devotee can never become depressed. Prabhupada says in one of his purport, if you are any time becoming depressed in your life, that means you are not a spiritual platform. You are not a spiritual platform. That is not spiritual. That is material. You have not understood who is Krishna. If you can understand who is Krishna, you can connect to him, you can never become depressed. Because there is nothing which can make you depressed. No. What makes people depressed? Problems? No. Problems make us happy. And what makes people happy? Happiness? Yeah, happiness. We are anyway happy. <laughs> So you see, devotees can never become depressed. So that is Padratam. Okay, so what is the next word? Pinashtu. Yeah, Pinashtu Mams means um, Krishna, you reject me, no problems. Still I will serve you. Pinashtu Mams Pinashtu ma means, uh, you know what is Pinashtu? Uh, trample. Prabhupada translates as trample. Trampling. Krishna, even if you give me sufferings, not just reject me. You give me suffering, 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 suffering. Still I will serve. 
see things are becoming more uh, complicated, no? Is it? More intense. <laughs> now what's come on. Krishna is sitting and planning for you. Sufferings. Will you serve? Yes or no? Yes, entire world is going for, to Krishna for blessings. But here Krishna is saying, yes, I am planning sufferings for you. <laughs> so if you if you know this fact, if somehow this information leaks, there is always a leak no? <laughs> from his internet or whatever. And like he is standing in an altar like this, and you think, oh, he wants to bless me. But somehow you get an information leak, he is planning sufferings for you. So will you serve him or not? Yes. yes or no? Yes. You are sure? Yes. Krishna can hear you. Yes. <laughs> and if you say yes, he will start doing something. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> you have to be pretty sure because he is, you are lazy but he is not lazy. <laughs> he is not procrastinating. He will execute his plans immediately. So it's, it's, it's a, it is a very big commitment. No? Mm -hmm. It's a very big commitment. Krishna, even if you give me sufferings. Now, these sufferings are not due to your karmas. This is not by chance or by destiny. This is planned by God. Sufferings by destiny, you can get, ri you can get rid of it. By some astrological solutions. Sufferings planned by Krishna, you cannot get rid of it. Yes. You have to undergo. It's impossible to do that. He has planned. So that's what Mahaprabhu's prayer is. Krishna, even if you plan sufferings for me, no problem. I am not going, I will keep on serving you without complaining. And that's what Krishna did for Dhropti. He did? Mm -hmm. Didn't know? Mm -hmm. what, what Dhropti was disrobed. Who planned for her? Her destiny? There is no destiny for Dhropti. She is pure devotee, you know? Dhropti is incarnation of Durga. You know this? She is incarnation of Yogamaya. So there is no destiny, there is no laws of karma for these great people. So Krishna planned this incident for her. And Krishna told one day before to Bhishma, Bhishma, you should not talk or do anything. Because he knew, Krishna knew, that, uh, that Bhishma will definitely will do something. He told you have to sit quiet and keep on seeing everything. It's my plan. And yet, even after experiencing so many sufferings, still Dhropti was the best devotee of Krishna, is it? Is it? So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is showing us the highest level of love. That the spirit of love. Of course, Krishna is not, Krishna will not plan sufferings for you, but the point is, uh, Krishna wants to know how much you love him. He wants to know. He wants to know your commitment to him. If you are committed to him, he is committed to you. If you are not committed to him, he is not committed to you. Simply. As simple as that. So, these are some examples of Inash After that, what's the, what's the word? Adarshana marmadam karotuba. Now what that means? Chaitanya was saying Krishna, even adarshana means not uh, not uh, uh, yeah. So not giving darshan, not not actually in English what do we say? Yeah, yeah even if you even Prabhupada translates, even if you break my heart by not being visible to me. So that's the ultimate pinnacle of love. If Krishna says, fine, I will never accept you. Still, still, will you serve me? Will you serve such a master? He will never accept you, he will never give you peace, he will never give you happiness, he will never give you satisfaction, he will not do anything with you. What you will do? Chalo bhaiya, ho gaya, kisi aur ke paas alte hai. To kuch bhi nahi mele ho. No blessings, no peace, no love, nothing you will get. Still you will love, still you will serve him? He might not. But gopis will do. Ishoda Manan Baba, his friends will do. Because they love him. This is love. Is it? This is love. No? So, uh, and that's what Sita. Ram told Sita, see, I am going to forest and uh, you, you don't need to come with me. You, you, you are not cursed. But, the, but Sita told, no problem. I will come with you. Ram told, see, you have, there is just sufferings in forest. Nothing else. No good thing. The Sita told, no problem. No problem. I can accept all those sufferings. But I can't tolerate not to be with you. Is it? But here the proposal is Krishna is saying, I will I will never be with you. 
Nothing doing with him. Still will you serve me? If you can say yes to this question, you have passed the test. Krishna will accept you. Because this, if anybody can say yes to this question, this means he loves Krishna. No? That's love. Nothing. Krishna doesn't have to do but still. You're obsessed with him. You can't do anything. That's what Gopis said. That's what Uddhav said to Gopis. And Uddhav came to Gopis from... Krishna sent to Mathura, no? Uddhav, you go to Gopis and console them. Uddhav said to Gopis, Gopis, see the point is, you know, like, okay, Krishna is there and all these things. Uddhav proposed, you know, Uddhav proposed, Gopis, well, you are so, you are so suffering now without Krishna, you are weeping and you can't live. So, so why don't you forget him? That's all, finish. Finish it off. So Gopi is told, that's a problem. Yogis want to remember him. We want to forget him. <laughs> <laughs> that is the problem, the very issue now. That's, that's called love. You want to leave, but you cannot. In spite of, so that's the definition of love, which Prabhupada writes in Act of Devotion. In spite of so many obstacles, you don't want to leave. In spite of everything negative, you want to leave, but you still you cannot. Now you willfully want to leave, but you cannot. That is the highest level of philosophy which Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has given us. We have to reach to this platform. It's a big, it's a way off, no? It's way off. Uh, but Prabhupada gives two, 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 uh, two solutions for this. If you want to reach this platform, there's just one way. You know? Two formulas, one way. There's just one way to reach this platform. That is service and sacrifice. Is it? So if you serve Krishna and sacrifice for him. So that, that morning you were asking service. I forgot to mention this part, sacrifice. So that's very important in service. We have to sacrifice for Krishna. If you sacrifice for him, then you will learn what is love. Because love is all about sacrifice, no? Is it? Mother sacrifices her time, her energy for child, her sleep. Parents sacrifice the money, the energy for children. Uh, freedom fighters, they sacrifice their life for their country. That's all about this. So, that's what is the key of understanding what we are talking all about. This spirit of service. We have to learn how to sacrifice and serve Krishna. Not just serve, but you need some sacrifice from your part to serve Him. It should not, your life should not go just going on. That's not good, no? Some service, theek hai ho gaya. Doesn't help, no? Doesn't, there's no challenges. There's no challenge, there's no enthusiasm. The Prabhupada said always, Prabhupada said, take risk for Krishna. Prabhupada said, can we? Prabhupada said, take risk for Krishna. And Prabhupada was forcing his disciples to take risk. Like the Malvish Maharaj, go to China. Tamal Krishna, he was weeping. And Prabhupada will go to China. No, I am not going. China, communist country. <laughs> and then afterwards he came back again and he told Prabhupada, I am sorry. You know, I told no. You are telling I will go. I said, okay. And it was big risk. No? Even now, you can't preach in China. Openly, they will shoot him. And Prabhupada sent to Africa. At that time, Africa, there was, uh, there was military rule, militant. The, there was no democracy, there was no military rule. They, they, many, they shot many devotees in Africa. Many devotees. The military used to come, line them up, dig, 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 shoot, that's all, finish. Okay, they're lost. No religion. So, by that, in Germany, you see, they, they put them in prison. Russia, everybody knows. It was such a terrible thing, you know, torture and those things. So, uh, why? Prabhupada, uh, Prabhupada knew that this will purify them. If they, see, anyway, Prabhupada says, Prabhupada says in one of his letters, anyway, we can't, we can't live for him perfectly. No? Our lives are anyway nonsense, you know, what we are doing with our lives. We, we can't live properly for Krishna, as Dhruva, Prahlad, great devotees did. So Prabhupada says, if we can't live for Krishna, at least die for him. We can die for him. No? And if you die for him, then what happens? What happens? If you live for him, what happens? If you live for him, if you serve him, you go to Krishna. If you die for him, Krishna comes to you. 
What is better? Yeah, yeah, you can't go to him. <laughs> better he comes to you. That is the spirit which Chitanamad will send in this verse. Service, sacrifice, enthusiasm, determination and never to stop until we attain Krishna one final day, face to face. That's what we want. That's what Mahaprabhu is there to tell us. Adarshanam Marmatam Karotuva. And then what's after that? So Lampat means uh, Lampat means uh, a, a husband which is not who is not chaste. To his wife he is going to other females, Lampat. So Chaitanya uh, Prasanna Krishna, even if you give mercy to those people who do not deserve, I might do you might be doing devotion perfectly, but Krishna gives mercy to somebody who is not doing perfectly. So it is <coughs> it is irrational, no? Is it? If somebody is doing two rounds, Krishna gives mercy to him. You are doing sixteen rounds, no mercy. It's irrational. <laughs> so the Chaitanya says, even if you are doing something irrational, illogical, still I'll keep on serving him. No questions asked. Because he is independent, no? We we understand whatever he is doing, it is for a benefit. Maybe he is doing this to to break up right? Is it? You are chanting 16 out there. I am chanting 16, he is chanting too. Uh, so Krishna will give him mercy. In front of you. To make you understand, you are, you are, you are proud of your 16 now? Okay. No mercy. So it's, it's not that we don't have to chant 16 out, but if you are proud, I am doing more than, then there is a problem. No? There is a problem? You understand? Do you understand or not? Actually, don't. Because there's a question here. If you would have understood, there's a question. If you're chanting 16 rounds, if somebody ran next to 2 rounds, naturally will think I'm chanting more than, is it? But then that's a problem. You're not supposed to think like that. So how do you do that? You understand my question? Mm-hmm. If somebody is just chanting 2 rounds, you're chanting 16 rounds for 20 years, it's natural to think I am a senior devotee. You can't just keep on thinking I'm a junior. You, you have to take drugs to think like that. <laughs> I am junior. Anyway, chanting two rounds. I am chanting 16 and 20 years, but I am not senior. But yet you have to think I am not senior. senior. Now, how do, how to think like that? Is it like, uh, what do you have to do with your mind? You understand the question? Everybody or not? Uh, am I, no, you don't understand? Okay. How many rounds you chant? Can I yeah, also I'm, bring I'm, I'm all you No, I'm finishing. Just two minutes. Just Because more than this, everybody will lose motion, I think. So, <laughs> what's going on? Okay, how many rounds you chant? No, she has to do. One day 16, one day Okay, no problem. Fine. You chant like that? Okay. Now, I chant, suppose, 16 rounds. Last 20 years, okay. Now, I have to think that I'm junior to you. Because if I think I'm senior to you, I'm falling. That's a philosophy. But how do you do it practically? That's my question. Because practically, I am what? Junior or senior? I'm senior. <laughs> I know this, but I don't have to think about that. And that's a dilemma. And Prabhupada gives the answer to the dilemma in one of his lectures. And that's a question, puzzle for you. Tomorrow, you ask me. Or maybe next year, I'll come and keep on thinking about that. <laughs> and then, Tell me because it's very important. Because if you start thinking I'm senior, you're gone. The moment you think you're senior, Krishna will make you junior. He will plan something and do something so that you get rid of this feeling of seniorness. But how to do that practically? That's the idea. You can't just hallucinate and imagine something. Okay, fine. So that's the point here. Then what's the last? So Krishna is saying there that uh, okay. Krishna is saying fine. Chaitanya is saying. So the essence of this verse is keep your vision fixed on no service, not Krishna. Don't fix your vision on Krishna. Not attain it. Fix your vision on service and sacrifice. 
Prabhupada always said, devotees do not want Krishna. They want his service. Because if you want Krishna, you might not attain him. He is independent, no? But if you, if, you, if you focus on service, you will control him. He will be obliged to come to you. Because you are serving him. So that is the point. That is the sum and substance of this verse. Mat prana natas tu sarva. You are the Lord of my life. That's what we are discussing, no? Just like you cannot live your life, even so many obstacles, whatever happens to you, you can't live your life. That's what Mahaprabhu is saying. Krishna, you give me sufferings, you reject me, you neglect me, you do anything with me, you don't do anything with me, still I cannot leave you because you are my life. How can you live your life? Matna, Krishna, Saiva, Napada. I cannot serve anybody. I am your servant. Hare Krishna. Shri Prabhupada ki. Thank you very much. Thank you.